how do you rate that as a Bristol Rovers debut? Um, well, not very good to be honest. Uh, personally, it's good to get off the mark. Got a great reception, but it was kind of a downer. Obviously, conceding in the last few minutes kind of takes it takes the edge off the kind of buzz of scoring on your debut. It's always good to score on your debut, but kind of puts it away now with the result. How much of a decision was it to come here in the first place for this this uh, this adventure with Bristol Rovers? Um, it was kind of a no-brainer, really. When I know they come in for me, uh, spoke to a few people. Uh, Said the city was obviously great. I know the city's great and the club's very good. It's a very good family club and that, so it was kind of a no-brainer for me. And today, uh, we've been hearing from the fans, we heard from Daryl Clark. It looked like you were a bit isolated up there. Is that how it felt? Um, yeah, I'll have to watch it. But like I said, it's kind of the loss has kind of put a downer on it. So for me, I just felt like I was, yeah, may maybe I was, I'm not sure. I just got to have a look at it and see. You certainly put yourself about today, lots of hard work in there, tracking back as well, and I mean, that is obviously your game. Yeah, that's been a requirement really, I think, for myself, from everyone on the pitch. You always have to work hard and everything else comes with it. Um, the goal, talk us through it. I just see it. Yeah, that was out on the right-hand side, Clarkie was there, I knew see the ball bouncing, he was going to put it in, so it was kind of time you run, get in there and get your head on it. It looked like a fantastic ball. Yeah, no, it was a great ball, perfect ball. Yeah, right on the bottom for me to just come in and score the other. For you, how difficult is it for a footballer to, to move somewhere, what, three days ago and kind of just be put straight in the team? I mean, you would have very little knowledge, I would imagine, of who's playing around you. Yeah, it is hard. But again, like I said, a minimum requirement, I'll go in there, put myself around, work hard and I've got my rewards. It was just unfortunate we didn't win the game. And from your point of view today, how did the Memorial Stadium feel as, as a home arena to play in. Yeah, they made me feel very welcome, very welcome. Even from the start, from when I first come here, everyone's made me feel very welcome. But like I said, it could just get better. I know we always talk to strikers about targets, but you, you probably set yourself some, don't you, at the beginning of the season in a new club? Yeah, you set yourself targets, but I keep that to myself and I, I score as many as I can. <laughs> but ideally, we win as many games as we can. And what have you already seen from this group that... that, that puts it in your mind that you will score goals here and, 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 and it will be better than today. No, it's a very talented group. You can see that, I suppose. It's early days, two games in. You're not going to win the league today, are you? So at the end of the day, I think for me personally, I'm going to get plenty of chances as you see today. So I'm confident I'll put them away and hopefully we'll be winning much more games. And I'm sure you're aware of this, but that shirt and, and players that play up front for Bristol Rovers, there's a, there's a good line of strikers before you, you know, like Sir Ricky Lambert that went on to play for England and others yeah. that have played at the top level from here. Um, you, you hopefully will be the next in line, I'm sure, to, of, of successful <laughs> Bristol Rovers strikers. So you're putting that pressure on me. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, of course, I always back myself to score goals. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to take that shot on.